We'll now work on attaching a flexi line to the left shin. Now I'd like to point out that the steps we're using to attach our flexi line are nearly identical to the steps that we have already done. So as we start to create more of these systems, you'll notice that we'll go ahead and start with those systems already attached to a few other objects. And then if there are any changes made, we'll go ahead and point those changes out as they relate to the new object the flexi line's been attached to. All right, so let's go ahead and work on the shin. I'll go ahead and import in the flexi rig. Let's go ahead and choose all and OK. All right, so once that's been merged in, we'll go ahead and find the flexi hidden layer. Let's go ahead and show that. We'll grab the top node. And again, we want to select the entire hierarchy. So let's control page down. We'll go back to tools. And let's go ahead and find rename objects and give this a prefix. So that's going to be L underscore shin underscore. All right, we'll go ahead and choose rename. Great, so once those objects have been renamed, we want to do the same thing for our flexi layer. So that's L shin flexi hidden. All right, there it is. Okay, so we know now that we can go in and hide this layer for now. So we can start to align our object. Let's go ahead and center it between the shin and the ankle. I'll go ahead and select the global node. And let's go ahead and right click and grab our position constraint. Great. Underneath the motion panel, we can scroll down under our position list and we'll go ahead and add another target. And this time it's going to be the ankle. Okay, let's go ahead and right click to exit out of target mode. Now we need to align this and its orientation. Let's go ahead and create a helper for that. So I'll go ahead and add that to the scene. Again, we can make that a cross. And let's go ahead and use Alt-A to align this to our shin. And locally, we'll go ahead and move this to the side. All right, great. So now we can look at constrain our Flexi Global node to the shin bone. So let's go ahead and grab our look at constraint. And then go ahead and click on the shin bone. We know we need to fix a few things. Actually, that looks wonderful. All right, that's going to finish this course. No, I'm just joking. Let's go ahead and move over to our rotation list here. Let's go ahead and scroll down. And let's go ahead and choose the right look at axis, which we know to be the Y. We also know that we need to change our up node control to look at. Great. Let's go ahead and choose a new up node object. So we'll uncheck world and grab the new helper. That looks good. Okay, so at this point, we can go ahead and let's say take the helper that we have linked to our thigh. Let's go ahead and use that since it's already set up. I'll go ahead and press Control V to clone it. We can change the name from here. So that's PTDRVL Shin Flexi Connect Global 01. All right, let's go ahead and choose OK. Once that has been cloned, we can now Alt-A align that to our Flexi Global Control. Great. All right, once that's in place, we know that this object needs to be linked to the shin bone, so let's go ahead and do that. And now we can go ahead and freeze transforms on our Flexi's global object. We'll go ahead and Alt-Right-Click and choose Freeze. Once it shifts, that's no problem. We we'll use Alt A to align that back to our helper. Great. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of this temporary helper here that we used to make sure that the flexi object was aligned perfectly to this bone. Let's go ahead and grab our global node and let's make sure that that's linked to the character's global node. Let's start to resize this. So. We'll just go ahead and take a look at the current scale. It looks like we just need to bring this down a little bit more. Not too much. I'd say to about a value of 79. So I'll go ahead and make sure that we 
use that value throughout. All right, great. So once the scale has been set up, we're basically ready to go in and freeze transforms on this object. And then we'll want to position and orientation constrain it to our helper here. So let's do that. There's the position constraint, and there is our orientation constraint. Great, so now that that's connected, you'll notice that the flexi rig will follow. Very fun, it's coming together. All right, let's go ahead and work on position constraining our connect curves. So the top connect curve, that's going to be locked to our shin bone. Let's take care of that. Great. And the lower, we'll want that to be tied to our ankle. So I'll go ahead and grab the connect curve. And let's go ahead and position constraint to the ankle bone. All right, great. So now that will follow. If we were to switch over to FK mode, I'll go ahead and grab the center of gravity. Under the modify panel, we'll just go ahead and make sure we're using FK now. Let's go ahead and grab the ankle control. And here's what I was referring to before. You can see now we're getting some really nice stretchy behavior. This is going to be really cool. All right, well, once that's hooked in, we are pretty much ready to stop the lesson here. So in the next lesson, as we've done before, we're ready to work on the FlexiLine's twist rig.